spreadsheet and that Fibonacci sequence. So uh, we'll tap into the spreadsheet activity and again file new if anything's in there and that puts the cursor into cell A1. Now we need to enter the first couple of terms for the Fibonacci sequence so we'll come down to the keyboard and tap 1, execute and 1, execute for the first two terms but from now on we simply want to add these two together to get the third term. So to do that we make sure that the cursor is in cell A3 because it's a formula we tap onto equals. I'm going to tap onto cell A1 notice that it appears down at the toolbar here now I'm coming over here to tap add and puts the plus sign in and now I'm going to tap onto cell A2 and the formula is built we want to add together the terms above it in cells A1 and A2 so I'll tick uh, the yep that's good and uh, the first formula is done now to copy this formula down we saw one method in video 501 here's another we'll tap onto the cell that we want to take maybe down to the uh, 100th row here and head off to edit fill fill range and the formula is the one that we just saw is equal to a1 plus a2 but the range if i tap into the second box and then tap a second time is from a3 to a100 now the two here it is underneath file a colon and now I'm going to use uh, A from up here. So notice class pads arrange most of the handy cell kind of tools that we need up above us here. And I'm just going to finish off with 100 from the keyboard and then tap OK. And there's the Fibonacci sequence. Now, if we tap down um, a few cells, uh, eventually class pad starts showing them in scientific notation because it can't fit the whole number into the cell here so let's tap onto the border here and just drag it over as far as we can now class pad stops here if we try to take it over a bit more it won't we can kind of drag it back a bit but we can't make it any wider another way to actually um, change the width of a cell is to select the whole cell and tap onto edit format column width but you'll notice it's on the maximum of 160 anyway so we'll just cancel that now that's good we can now see Fibonacci numbers up to the 48th here and so on now if we scroll down a little bit further um, eventually class pad says now I'm showing you these ones from the 50th term onwards uh, in scientific notation so to convert to um, exact form we need to tap onto the cell heading to select every item in the cell and we're going to use the 0.5 to a half the uh, exact decimals to exact values and as soon as I do that notice that these numbers are now displayed in um, well as integers now if we come on down a little bit further things are looking good until we get down to about 69 70th term of the sequence here where um, it's the there isn't enough room for class pad to show the whole of the number in the cell so to see a particular number um, we now need to tap onto it and tap onto the glasses up here to zoom into the cell and there you can see the actual value and its formula so if I tap off and go right down to maybe the hundredth term here and we wanted to see the hundredth term there it is in all its glory